Nationwide school districts are dealing with a teacher shortage for uh, forcing some districts to resort to hiring uncertified teachers to fill their classrooms. This includes HISD to help navigate through the shortage. One company is using live learning or also known as remote teaching to fill our schools. Joining me live to talk about the method behind live learning is CEO of Evaluate K through 12, Shaylee Barnwall. Shaylee, good morning. Hi, how are you? So far, so good. It is Monday morning, so ask me that come Friday. <laughs> uh, talk, talk to us about what Elevate K through 12 is. Sure. So Elevate K to 12 provides live teaching into a classroom. Like you mentioned, that several schools, when they can't find a certified teacher, they have an uncertified teacher in the classroom who's trying to teach the children. We are solving for that problem. When you don't have a great certified teacher in the county or in the zip code, we provide live teachers who may not be physically present in the zip code, mm. but are Texas certified mm -hmm. teachers who stream straight into the classroom of the school. So it's a very new way to think about schools. It's a very new way to think about how teaching works. And many districts in the Houston area, like all in ISD, are already using this for years when they cannot find a great certified teacher in the zip code. Mm. Fascinating. Uh, Shaylee, talk to us about your personal story. What were you doing before Elevate? What's your background? Yeah, so my background is I'm a former teacher. Before that, I was an engineer. But my passion was always in teaching. My passion was coming, building up from the fact that the content, the classes that I like today have happened because I had a great teacher. Mm -hmm, and that mm -hmm. teacher instilled the joy of learning in me. Mm -hmm. And that today isn't happening. Districts are scrambling. They're playing a game of whack-a-mole where they're trying to solve for these problems. So when I first started looking into this problem that a lot of quality resources for the schools are dependent on their neighborhood and zip code, my the problem that i was trying to solve for was how do you remove the zip code barrier don't put uncertified teachers in the classroom but change the way teaching happens so it's it was about a very out of the box thinking that's how i started the concept and over the years we have seen states we are in 33 states right now district by district is transforming their teaching methodologies by saying no to uncertified teacher and saying yes to opening up their mind so they can be a quality teacher. Mm. It's just that the modality is different. I mean, think about this. After COVID, everybody's workforce has changed. So these teachers want that change too. And we are able to provide that not only to the teachers, but the plus side to the districts and the schools is now they have actual teaching and learning happening in the classroom rather than just putting an uncertified person in the classroom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I know this is a concern for so many parents throughout the greater Houston area. Shaylee, uh, from where you're standing, what do you believe are some of the causes when it comes to teacher shortages that we're seeing throughout the greater Houston area, but not just here also? You know, it's really something that's transpiring throughout the country. You know, this is so interesting. Before COVID, the problem was actually a geographic arbitrage. I am in a small town in Texas. I cannot find a Spanish teacher. So the, the problem was zip code. COVID changed that. COVID made this a workforce transformation. The number one reason that the teachers are leaving the profession is because they want flexibility. The number one reason that high school kids today are not jumping with joy to sign up for teacher certification programs is because the need is flexibility. Mm -hmm. They want to work from anywhere. They want to choose the hours that they work. So with this solution, it's a win-win for both. On the teacher side, it keeps the supply healthy and happy that they get to work on their own schedule and pick their own hours and work from anywhere. And they're still doing what they love, which is streaming into a classroom. And on the other side, districts 
don't have to sacrifice and just put a human being in the classroom. So our market research shows that the number one reason that the districts are, that the teachers are leaving the profession is for the want of flexibility. Okay, all good information. Shaylee Barnwall, thank you so much for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Absolutely, thank you for having me.